So, you want to drive the Ultra Shift? Well, because the Ultra Shift is so easy to drive, just give us a few minutes and we'll show you everything you need to know. In fact, once you get a feel for how it works, it's as easy to drive as a car with an automatic transmission. Over the next few minutes, we'll show you the components you'll be using. Proper startup, normal operations, operations under special conditions, and proper shutdown procedures. That's all you'll need to drive the Ultra Shift. What we don't cover in this video, you'll find detailed in your driver instruction manual. We recommend that you read through the manual before you drive the Ultra Shift, just to be sure you're thoroughly familiar with what you've got working for you. So, let's get started. In general, you should know that the medium duty Ultra Shift is an automated Eaton Fuller six speed transmission that only requires you to set the parking brake and then select end when starting the vehicle. The fact that Ultra Shift can detect exactly when the conditions are right for a shift and can engage gears so precisely means there's less wear and tear on components. Now, there are two key Ultra Shift components in the cab. A gear display, which will display the gear you're in and the gear you're moving to, and the shift console. The shift console gives you five mode selections. R, reverse, N, neutral, D, drive, manual, and low. There are also up and down arrows for when you select the starting gear and control your upshifts and downshifts when driving in the manual mode. A service light on the shift console will alert you in the event of potential transmission problems or service needs. Now, before we take the truck out on the road, it's important to understand that Ultra Shift uses the entire startup sequence as sort of a system check. This requires a slightly different startup procedure than what you're probably used to, and it's important that you follow it completely. Here's what to do. As with any vehicle, be sure to use proper safety procedures. Buckle up. Be sure the parking or spring brake is set and you're in neutral. If for some reason the key is already in the truck and is in the on position, turn it off before attempting startup. Notice that at power up, the shift console will light up as the Ultra Shift goes through a self test. If the service light remains lit, continues flashing, or does not light at all, you'll have to refer to your driver's manual for the procedure to follow before attempting to drive the Ultra Shift. With a normal power-up, start your engine and wait until the air pressure reaches 90 PSI. When you've achieved the appropriate air pressure, apply the service brakes. Then, to choose your startup gear, press D for drive. If you select drive, you'll default to a first gear startup. In drive or manual, you'll be able to use the arrows to select another starting gear, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. Release the parking or spring brake. Now, and this is a very important point, as you release the service brake, you'll begin to experience the same type of creeping motion that you've probably felt in a car equipped with an automatic transmission. This is called an urge to move. As you drive, Ultra Shift will detect the need to shift. It will flash the next target gear as an indication that a shift is in progress. At the appropriate time, it will automatically upshift or downshift, and when the shift is complete, the gear will show as a solid display. Ultra Shift can brake torque, reach synchronous, and precisely engage gears. But sometimes there are situations where you want to control when a shift occurs. With Ultra Shift, the choice is yours. Ultra Shift's manual mode gives you that control. Manual allows you to shift using the up and down arrows on the shift console. If you're stopped and want to switch from drive to manual, select manual again. Use the up or down arrows on the shift console to select the right gear for the situation. If you're already driving and you want to take over the shifts, simply select the manual mode and Ultra Shift will remain in the correct gear until you direct it to upshift or downshift, again using the up or down arrows. Now, if you're driving and coming to a situation that requires a shift to low mode, 
for instance, a steep grade, just select low on the shift console and ultra shift will automatically move into low mode at the earliest opportunity. Inhibiting further upshifts and downshifts at about 200 RPM higher for more engine braking. If you're stopped and want to switch from drive to low, select low on the shift console and ultra shift will remain in low until you take it to drive or manual or until engine overspeed protection is reached, in which case ultra shift will engage the next gear to protect the engine. To get back to drive while in motion, simply select drive and ultra shift will again upshift and downshift automatically. When stopping the vehicle, regardless of your driving mode, just brake normally. If you're shutting down, select neutral and check your gear display to be sure you're in neutral. The gear display should show a solid end. Then set the parking brake and turn off the ignition. One note, after the key is turned off, the ultra shift will take about 20 seconds to store information and perform a self check before it powers down. That's it. That's all you need to know to drive the ultra shift. But again, we recommend that you read your driver instruction manual before driving the ultra shift. Not only will it give you useful tips, but it will give you step-by-step -step instructions for basic maintenance, troubleshooting, and important procedures that must be followed under specific conditions, such as vehicle towing. Vehicle towing requires you to tow the vehicle with the drive wheels off the ground or the drive shaft disconnected in order to prevent damage to your system. As always, if you need more information or have questions, contact your Road Ranger Service Network. The Eaton Fuller Ultra Shift is a new generation of technology that you can depend on.